Oh, yo, guys, just a real quick video on Gareth Soloway's take on the uh, potential stock market crash of 2024 uh, and how he's looking at the S&P 500 and how he looks at the charts. And then uh, we'll give our two cents worth as well. And uh, this is a prime example of why you yourself need to learn how to, you know, look at the charts, uh, know what's going on, know the cycles more importantly, and then uh, you'll be able to kind of go through all the noise and filter out, you know, what's true, what's factual, and what really works. Me was we had this beautiful kind of wedge pattern that was broken, and this is again, if we, if we draw this in, we can yeah. see that price has broken below. So this was a trend. This was a very tight trend getting tighter and tighter. Good point. That yes, has absolutely. now broken. And so so as of now, you know, I have to respect this high. This is your all-time high on the S&P at around 5265. Um and we are retracing and you're right, the 21 EMA. In fact, I think the low was also a, a Fibonacci 236 retrace as well. Um, yes, correct. Yeah. But um but so those were both significant supports. The the thing for me is again just wondering about whether or not the economy slowing takes it down. And as as per charts, what I'm looking for here is we even have kind of a, a recognition that we have a little bit of a yeah. pattern formation here as well. And so we could even draw it right in here to watch to see, do we break above here and retest our all-time highs or do we come down? And really what I'm looking for, and I think this is what you're talking about, is a break of the trend, right? So you have this trend line here. And if you take out this here and then you take out the low, you would then have a high with a lower high and a low with a lower low. And that could really also be a con continuation of a potential bearish move to the downside, a change in trend, if you will. Right now, we have a lower high, but we don't know if that's going to going to take out the high and make a higher high as well. So just to summarize, for me, I'm just generally slightly more. Okay, then they, you know, talk about some fundamentals here, then we'll, uh, you know, speed the uh YouTube uh, video here up and go to the next level, uh, the next term. But let's look at the, the facts here. First of all, uh, when people are drawing trend lines, it needs to go from a from an anchor point, uh, literally from a pivot to a pivot. OK, and going from here to up here is not really unless we pull back you know, in the next candle or two, that's not really a valid, reliable friend line. So let me, first of all, coach him up on that. Second of all, uh, regarding the S&P 500, when half the bear market is recovered, the S&P 500 has never come back under the lows of that uh, bear market, which was in 2022. And we'll show you that here in a second. Uh, you know, for two to three years. That was 2022, 2023. We ran up pretty well. Now we're in 2024. And uh, so we're looking at us running into at least 2025 before any, you know, major corrections going on. And then also, if they knew this fact, the average bull market lasts about five years with gains of about 150 percent uh, plus. And then the current bull market that we're in is up around 43% and about 18 months old. So, you know, we're, you know, uh, coming on into it. Uh, we're not even towards the end yet. Now, the rest says I'm not going to, you know, you can uh, pause it and read it for yourself. But the main thing I want you to see here is the size of the declines, okay? This was a... Uh, relatively small decline in a bull market you only get uh single digit uh declines okay and then the uh 15 percent or more the average frequency is about every three years okay and uh the last time we had that was between august to, to october of 2022 so we're still in the time range uh being uh bullish here and let me go back here let me go to the weekly Kind of give you an idea. And then let me clear all this out so it doesn't interfere with what we're trying to show here. Okay. Then, you know, here was the 2022 bear market. Okay. And then this green line here, that 0.55 shows you, you know, 50% of that market. We finally took it out. And according to classical technical analysis, you'll come back, retest that either, 
either uh, support zone or resistance zone to uh, see if it holds. And this time it was a previous resistance. So it came back, it held as support, and then here we are. Okay, so that, you know, takes care of that. And then let's go to the to the uh, next section there, and uh, we'll show you. Well, let me go ahead and show you this first. Uh, it's called a measured move, and you're going to see this throughout uh, our charts here. Let me take that magnet off here. Okay, right up here, and then you know we had a pullback, and then it ran up thirty one percent. 31.71. So anyway, that's, that's close enough. So, you know, about a uh, 5,444 uh, number here for us, target for us to reach off of this measured move there. Then I'll show you, uh, you know, a couple of others as well. So basically we had, uh, let me show you probably easier like this. So up, down. Uh, is what we, you know, are looking for. Okay, and then let us do it on the daily here. So basically, we came down and then ran up and then came down again, and then let's go to the low here. That was five point eight one. And then let's go to five point right in here. So we're still going to, you know, uh, outdo our previous uh, run here as well. And you, you love those W uh, formation. Also, you know, uh, that's one of the ways markets uh, are reverse. Okay, you get a, a V-shaped recovery like right here. Or you get a W, low, high, higher, low, and go. That's a horrible W, sorry. Like that. Or the last way, or one of the other ways, which is not as fun to be in. You know, you come down real hard. You trade sideways. And, uh, you know, they say time heals all. And then after a period of time, you start trending back up to the upside. Okay. All right, let's go back to the video. The market eventually will go down, mm -hmm. uh, if, even if it can make all time, all -time highs. highs. But my question is, if the market does make all time highs, where could you see the level of danger be for a potential top in the market? Oh, um, wow, that's a good I'm, question. I'm curious about that. I, I have my own. I'm more curious to know what yours is. Yeah. So, so one of the things to keep an eye on here is is you can be looking at uh, some various trend lines, right? And I usually yeah. go to trend line analysis when I'm doing sure. these type of things. So, so again, this is a little on the trickier side to find these these direct levels, but you can connect previous major highs on the market, and you can draw a trend line connecting through the 2022 level. And again, it doesn't show us much upside potential here. A little bit. It yeah. looks to me like that would be right around 5,400, 5,375, mm -hmm. somewhere in that yeah. vicinity. Um, but again, these longer term trend lines are powerful. In fact, if you take this one here, you can see we have pierced it, yes. but we came in. And, and this is interesting because if we look at where the market is currently trading, we're right kind of right in that mix on the weekly chart. And just something to watch for. Do we kind of push back up to this next level or do we stall here? But we did go above it and then we broke yeah. back down below it. The other thing to just Okay, so let's okay, so let's go back to the charts, and he hooked, hooked that up from 20, 2007 here, and we run it up through the top, connecting it to here to 22, 2022, like he was talking about, and really, uh, if, if we just go straight up, much less uh, consolidate up here and move higher. Which would make it even uh, a larger price action. We're actually, actually looking around uh, six grand, uh, really. And then if we hook over here, uh, 1999, 2000, come through here. You know, we haven't, let me pull that down perfectly here. Yeah, we've come up to it, but really haven't hit it. Of course, mine is on log scale, um, as you can see over here. So I don't know what their uh, charts are. But also, let me show you another uh, measured move here 
to uh, kind of get the party started. This will be a potential, you know, um, you know, higher target uh, price there. And what we're going to look at is this COVID uh, low here. And we're going to run up here to down and then see uh, where that uh, technically takes, takes us at this point in time. And then we got to run here from the low to the high. So let's just call it, uh, you know, 115%. Okay, then we had a, what's called a shallow pullback here. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> like, perfect, perfect. That 0.385, perfect shallow pullback. And then if we add another 115 to this, pull this back here. Yeah, let like Texas, uh, yeah, 7,500. And if we still, based on, you know, the knowledge we know about the market cycles, uh, this is not, uh, definitely not out of, out of, uh, out of the park of being, you know, ridiculous. If you look at, you know, the average, you know, market, bull market, five years, uh, this type of gains, and we're only 18 months into it. And then the size of, of the declines, you know, you know, around 5%. Now, the 10%, we could have, you know, uh, one of those, uh, obviously, uh, you know, for each year. They have them about once a year. And then the full length of those, you know, just a little over three months. Uh, I mean, uh, 110 days, sorry. Uh, but anyway... Um, and then, uh, yeah, 251 days, you know, pushing a year uh, when you start getting into those uh, major bear markets, okay? But anyway, just wanted to, uh, you know, give this information out, let you know, you know, what we look at, you know, how we determine uh, the markets, you know, basically looking at the cycles, looking at, you know, previous hard data, facts, uh, just not, you know, putting some uh, trend lines on a chart, you know, hoping that's going to, you know, work out for us uh, when we have our, you know, hard-earned money uh, at work, retirement accounts, so on and so forth. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you on the charts.